joining us now is Ann Chase, who is a freelance computer artist, and Kevin Prince. Kevin is engineering manager at MCI Quantel. Now, Ann, you uh, played around with a picture of me at the break just before we got to the segment. Uh, that was animation, I take it. And mm -hmm. how do you do that with this system? Well, basically, I can find that animation stack in the library and show you how I set it up just by tapping. It's cell by cell is how it's set up. And here you can see that I just drew the tie and rolled it up on your neck. So you captured the real picture and then drew on top of the real picture mm -hmm. and then just did the, the cell right, animation. Cycled the animation in. Does this, does this machine do all that uh, with just commands that you give it? The yeah, basically just your artistic ability and you know what you can do using the capabilities of the machine. Kevin, what are the capabilities of the machine? What kind of what kind of hardware or software is supporting this system? Well, hardware-wise, we're based around the 68,000 processor, as the previous uh, people were talking about. But um, we've got a lot of dedicated hardware to do all the, the fast wipes, the actual painting and drawing in the system, and changing all the brush sizes, etc. It's taken us some time to develop that, but associated with that is probably more importantly is the actual software uh, interaction with the, with the uh, with the user. Uh, everything you see is, is, a, is obviously a very large um, operating system that we've had to divide for the system. And could you show us? You mentioned drawing and brush uh, strokes. Some of the freehand capability of the system. Basically, what I'll do here is just wipe the canvas, and you can see that I'm in a paint mode. And I'll, this shows me my brush size, and I'll take a white here, and you can see that I can just paint right on the screen. Mm -hmm. I can choose a different color just by tapping and say a larger brush size, and paint over the top of that. Then I can go back and choose that mixed color right off the image and store it to use later. Now, uh, this, this is obviously much finer drawing, greater resolution than some of the earlier things we saw at the beginning of the program. But that, that's a function of what, Kevin? That's basically the way we do our store manipulation, the way we actually store the picture. Uh, we have various methods of mapping the image that we're, we're actually trying to, to work with into the store, very different to uh, individual pixel operations which the other machines will be working with. And, and paint box is, in fact, in use right now on television graphics. How is it being used? Uh, well, the, most of the networks have actually got several, several of these systems, and they very often use the mach machine for uh, their news production. And uh, practically every night you will see some form of uh, over-the-shoulder shot that's probably been generated on the paint box. But hopefully it's so good you would never notice. Now, this system gives you the capability of mixing that which is artistically drawn with that which is real life That's photograph right. mm -hmm. uh, uh, sort of a thing. How is that done? Well, actually, I can just go to the live source, and you can see that right now we're taking in a live video source of what we're doing. And at any time, I can, I don't even look at myself. Let's just tap something down and see what we have here. There we have me. And okay, I can so go you ahead have and just captured right a now. still frame from mm -hmm. this live coverage of what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. and now you can paint with it. Right. Or I could, let's say I'd like to create a stencil. And just very quickly, I can go in here with a stencil medium and just outline something and fill it. And you're fill why are you filling that now? What I'm going to do is a cut and paste technique. This is a stencil medium that's laid over the image. What I'll do is... This is the word, word processing of art. Mm -hmm. Cut and paste. But that's it, yes. Um, and then I'll just paste it up. At this point, we're taking a portion of that image, and we've now got, as you can see, see two images. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> Twins. No, I think that's the last improvement. <laughs> that's Twins. right. That's right. <laughs> and you, you seem to have a lot of fun doing this. Is there uh, an obstacle? Is there resistance to uh, an artist, or shall we say, a pure artist who's used to dealing in brushes and paints, uh, getting comfortable with using this technology? Um, maybe at first, there's a, it's a little difficult to use the menu to learn to think and actually read at the same time while you're drawing. But once you've worked with the system for a short period of time, it's just like second nature. Very simple to use. Set up in artist terms. The, uh, it's clear how valuable this would be to a television media. 
Mm -hmm. uh, what about the area of fine art? And uh, is, is uh, computer art catching on there too oh, or growing? Definitely, definitely. It's the wave of the future. That's what's going to be happening in art in a couple of years. In fact, it already is. Should brush, brush manufacturers worry? No, I mean, no, no, no. They're not in trouble yet. <laughs> not yet. Kevin, we have about a minute left. How far can you go with this technology? Will we get to the point where you could have, uh, where we could be replaced by animated people and sync it up with words? I sincerely hope not. Uh, <laughs> the way I see it at the moment is that we're providing the means by which an artist can extend their capabilities. We can turn a reasonable artist into a good one and an extremely good one into a superb artist. It's, there's, all we're doing is allowing them to create, create their artwork in a much shorter space of time and in the medium in which it's required. Well, that's fascinating. and You don't exist anymore on that picture, Kevin, but we know you're here. We're all out of time. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for joining us on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Focus, creators of visual programming tools for software development, is pleased to provide major funding for the Computer Chronicles, the story of this continuing evolution.